Hey everyone, so let's start with the very very first topic in chemistry and this is the topic probably your teacher started with to explain the beginning of chemistry. Now the topic is basically the states of matter and we know that we have three different states which are the liquid, the gas, the solid states. Now let's explore these different states and Let's talk about the details of why the liquid is liquid and why the solid is solid and so on and so forth. And this part is a bit theoretical, so bear with me, guys. So the first thing we need to do is that we know how to differentiate between a solid and a liquid and a gas because you know that water exists in the three different forms, for example, steam as in the gas state, and there's the liquid, which is the bottled water we drink every day, and the solid state which is the ice cube so we know how to differentiate between these three states and why is that because the solid has a fixed shape the ice cube does not change its shape unless it melts or something so the solid has a fixed shape while the liquid takes the shape of the container so for example if you take half a liter of water and you put it in a pot it takes the shape of the pot if you put it in a plastic plastic bottle it takes the shape of the bottle whether um, it's round or it's thin and long or so on and so forth so it takes the shape of the container also the gas kind of takes the shape of the container but it can move freely for example the air like you can't bottle up air you know you can not put some air in the bottle but you don't know the exact volume so basically gases have no shape so that's the first thing you guys need to know about the three different states which is the shape of the state itself now let's talk about the forces of attraction now as you see here in the diagram the atoms in the solid state are very compact, they're stuck together, there is minimal space, while in the liquid they're more freely to move and there's a bit of a space. Now in the gas they are the most free particles out there, they move everywhere and they have so much energy. So let's see, so here we talked about shape, let me switch the color, so here is shape. Now let's talk about the forces of attraction. Now force of attraction. Now here in the solid we said that the attraction between the different particles is very strong. While in the liquid state they are less stronger so they, we can just say strong. And in the gas state they are very weak forces of attraction because the particles are away from each other they're moving freely so they have minimal force of attraction between them so one thing to note finally is the vibration between the different particles so here in the solid the particles vibrate in their position they don't move so they're just like vibrating in their own position so here is vibration in place same thing as when your PE teacher tells you to run in your place. You're just like moving in your place. You're not moving in any direction. You don't change the displacement. So they're just vibrating in their place. While in the liquid, they are more free. So they're free to collide with respect to each other. Now... In the gas state, they're just colliding randomly and so on and so forth. So this is the random motion. So that's it for the different characteristics of states of matter. We talked about the shape. We said that the solid doesn't change its shape, while the liquid takes the shape of the container and the gas has no shape. And, for, and then we talked about the forces of attraction. We said in the solid, as we see in the diagram, that it's very compact. There is a very strong force of attraction. Unlike the liquid, the liquid has a strong force of attraction, but not like the liquid, it's a bit less. 
And finally, the gas has very, very weak forces of attraction because it moves freely and randomly everywhere. And finally, we talked about the vibration. We said that the solid state particles vibrate in their place, while the liquid, they are more free to collide past each other. And the gas is the most random motion. So in the next video, we're going to talk about the theories that explain and prove this random motion and this fixed motion and so on and so forth. So stay tuned and good luck.